Sure, here's the script translated into English. Welcome, everyone. Today, let's learn how to make various shapes of pastries using a fluffy dough made from milk, eggs, and flour. First, let's prepare the ingredients. One cup of warm milk, one egg, three tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of instant yeast, a quarter cup of oil, three cups of flour, and a pinch of salt. To make the dough, mix warm milk with sugar and yeast in a large bowl and let it rest for five minutes to activate the yeast. Then, add the egg and oil, mixing well. Gradually add the flour and salt, kneading until you get a smooth and elastic dough. Allow the dough to rest and rise in a warm place for about an hour until it doubles in size. Once the dough has risen, start shaping the pastries as desired. You can make croissants, buns, or stuffed pies. For croissants, roll out the dough into a rectangle and cut it into triangles. Roll each triangle from the base to the tip and place them on a baking sheet. For buns, divide the dough into small balls and shape them into small loaves by hand. For pies, roll out the dough and cut it into circles, then fill them with your favorite filling such as cheese, meat, or herbs. After shaping the pastries, let them rest again for 10 minutes. Then, brush them with egg wash and sprinkle sesame seeds or nigella seeds as desired. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and bake the pastries for 15 to 20 minutes until they turn golden brown. For a different experience, you can try filling the dough with cream cheese or chocolate. Fill the dough and roll it into rolls, then cut it into small pieces and bake them. They will turn out delicious and unique among other pastries. To keep the shape and flavor of the pastries after baking, allow them to cool completely before storing them in an airtight container. This way, the pastries will stay soft and delicious for a longer period. You can also place a piece of apple in the container with the pastries to maintain their softness. In conclusion, thank you to everyone who joined us today. I hope you enjoy and benefit from the recipe. Try it out and share your experiences with us. Don't forget to add your personal touch and get creative with shaping the pastries. See you in the next recipe with more tasty ideas.